That is a truly a stunning work of a peanut sauce. Mark Wiens with Migrationology.com in Jakarta, Indonesia. And for lunch today, I am somewhere in downtown uh, Jakarta, in between some high-rise buildings. There is a row of street food carts, and there is a lot of good-looking food right here. It's nice and shady, lots of trees, and I have stopped at a stall that is serving gado gado. There are some stalls that set up tables, but this stall here, there's just a stack of stools, so you just grab a stool, sit under the shade, and he has a queue, so I put my order in, but he has, I don't know how many orders he has ahead of me. Um, thank you, Corn. Corn, okay. Ah, it's so oh, cucumber. Fight. Mm. Oh, okay. Oh, bitter melon. Oh, this is lamang. Yeah. Lontong. Lontong. Mm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, oh. Spaghetti. Spaghetti. Ala Itali. <laughs> Dari Cirebon, Mister. <laughs> okay. Spaghetti Indonesia. Spaghetti Indonesia. Spaghetti Indonesia. He uses a mortar and pestle, but it's a very shallow mortar and pestle, almost like a chopping, a stone chopping board. And then the, the mallet is a wooden mallet. And what he does is he adds, adds in some salt, and then he takes a couple of chilies, fresh chilies, and literally using that mallet with just a few strokes, he demolishes those chilies and just like purees them. And then he adds in some sugar, followed by some ground up peanuts, and then he adds in some water. And that's, those are mainly the ingredients that are used for the, the peanut sauce dressing. And then after that, he adds in some other vegetables, some green vegetables, plus some bean sprouts. From there, once you have your peanut sauce mixture, you can kind of choose which starch or base carb ingredient that you want. And I saw a lot of people, they order it with a base of rice and then that whole mixture topped on rice. But also another common thing to order, which is what I got, is called lontong which are like, I think they're steamed rice cakes in a banana leaf. You can smell the freshness of that peanut sauce and actually he worked that peanut sauce so well that there are actually, you can see the freshness of those bubbles within the peanut sauce. Then he dishes it onto a plate and then topped it with some crackers. And actually, let me remove some of these crackers so you can see what's all in here. A beautiful mix and then he also added in some noodles as well but I gotta just taste a bite of this. Mm, yo, you can just smell that peanut sauce. It smells incredible. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, that peanut sauce is so creamy. It's a little bit salty, and it's balanced by a little bit of sweetness from that sugar that he added in there. And then also those chilies come in, you can taste a little bit of spiciness. And then from there, you have all these different textures. The, the crunchy cucumber. I think I got a piece of the soft, sticky rice cake in there as well. And then these boiled vegetables. That is a truly a stunning work of a peanut sauce. What I like about it is it's really well balanced. It's not too sweet, but it definitely has a sweet tinge to it to balance that that peanut saltiness, and then it's just really, those are some seriously buttery, rich and creamy peanuts in there. Oh yeah, and I forgot there's also, there's corn in here and there's also tofu, and there are pieces of rice cake, 
it's a, a really a blend of textures and I think that it could be considered a salad but at the same time it's a very it's not like a light fluffy salad it's a very hearty salad and that peanut sauce well provides some protein but it also provides some real um, heartiness to it so it's a real it's a real heavy delicious flavorful and rich salad and it's awesome Oh, and I think I also got a boiled potato in that bite. I'm down to my last bite, and that peanut sauce is so good. You, you definitely want to lick the plate clean, but I'll just do my best with a spoon to get all of that peanut sauce. It's so buttery. It's so good. It's almost just like a sweet and salty peanut butter just coating every piece of vegetable and ingredient. Such a hearty, wonderful, sweet and salty and savory and just flavorful, flavorful salad. Gado gado is a very, very common dish in Indonesia. It's one of the national dishes and it's common, you can find it at restaurants, and then it's also very popular as a street food dish. What I really like about this place right here is that it's a friendly environment. It's right in the middle of downtown Jakarta, but it feels like you are somewhere in a small town because of the, the side street and because of these nice trees. Thank you all for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Make sure you try some gado gado when you are in Indonesia. And I will see you on the next food video. Thank you. If you ever happen to be in this area of Jakarta and you're looking for a great plate of gado gado, his name is Andy and he sells his gado right outside. The Intercontinental is just down the road and then right behind us is a mall called Citywalk Sudiman.